Hey everybody, my name is Rob St. Lesson with Journey Team, and today we're going to talk about real-time marketing and specifically Consent Center and the records you need in order to make your real-time journeys work and make sure that those emails that you attempt to send in, the, in those journeys actually make it to those email boxes. And so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you a consent center record and talk about it and and then i'm also going to show you um, microsoft power automate with a theoretical example where you are or we are intaking a form submission from a marketing website for a corporate website for leads and we want to create those consent records automatically behind the scenes without having to miss the opportunity of getting those leads into the system, however, not creating those additional records that are required to actually market to them, advertise our products and services. So let's get into it. So what I'm showing you here is a consent contact point consent record and this one in particular is a commercial consent record and it is using the enforcement model of restrictive now if you see here plainly described on the page customer opt-in is required for sending messages and that's really key because in real-time marketing as those emails will attempt to be sent out, it's going to run a check against all the contact point consent records and see is there a record in here that matches the purpose and the topic if one is given. If it's not there, then the system will block the email from even going out. And I've seen this happen time and time again, and it's super annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what you have to do in order to fix that. And so we're looking at one of those records right now. Here's the commercial purpose type. And in this example, I have three topics that are associated, events, newsletters, and webinars. Now, if you have these other topics, then that means that those individuals need to effectively subscribe to those topics by creating contact point consent records for each topic. So if I go to the content consent center, and we'll see all of the active contact point consent records that we have in our demo environment. If you look at this 123ABC email, so this represents a contact in real life, not a contact in Dynamics, but a, this email is a, st a standalone. You look at it and it says topic, commercial, excuse me, topic, webinar, purpose of commercial. And as long as my customer journey email, or excuse me, real-time journey is set to be purpose of commercial and topic of webinar, then 123ABC will receive that email message. Full stop, that's all there is to it. Now, if you have a web form on your website and those leads are submitting those forms, populating some information into those form fields, you want to make sure to capture the right form fields that are relevant to make sure that you can create these records behind the scenes. The system will automatically create those for you. So in, in that implementation, so what I'm going to do is show you a theoretical example, low code example without a developer. That you'll be able to accomplish that. So I went ahead and. Set up a power automate. We're not going to. Create the power automate from scratch here. 
um, because that would take extra time. This is a GUID for that row, as well as a commercial purpose. And this is a GUID for that purpose. And this is important because seeing that these are just rows, if you weren't organized, you could create multiple topics called webinar or more multiple purposes called commercial. And then you dig yourself a little bit of a hole because those records have to match up or else you could be creating these consent records, but they're not the, the right ones. And so when you plug in your preference center inside of your real-time marketing email, then it still won't work. So you need to make sure that you pick the, the right purpose and the right topic and that those are connected to the right to the right preference center. Now this is just a condition to show if that form that came in, if there was a checkbox there that said, send me emails about your upcoming webinars, then I'm not going to necessarily have a checkbox there that says, would you like to receive commercial emails? That doesn't, that's not really a good user experience. However, this is still something that we can keep track of in the Power Automate. And the and then the webinar would be the topic and that we'll check to see if that was true as well in this theoretical example. And then what I'm doing here is I'm creating a contact point consent record. The same kind of records that you're seeing here, only I'm doing that behind the scenes in my low code solution. And in this example, I'm using the add a new row dataverse action. And I'm adding a new row to the contact point consents table. I'm choosing a channel of email, consent status of opted in. Now, if you notice, I have these three other options, these two other options as well. I also have opted out. So you could turn this, this system on its head and do the exact opposite. You can create a, a flow where someone wanted to opt out. Um, you could set that up as well. But we're not going to do that for this example. So we're opted in. Um, that's the just the variable that came in in the in the post post body of the HTTP request. And then I'm adding a reference to the purposes table. This is the the plural logical name of the purposes table. So if I go back here and I click on this, that is what this value is. Um, excuse me, as was this value is right here. With an S added to the end. And this is in fact the GUID that I have in that variable in the Power Automate. So we have this set up. That will create a reference to the purpose table. And then this is some additional marketing type data that in a real life example, you're going to want to put in there to aid in your marketing efforts. I don't so much mind right now, so I'm just going to put no reasons. Reason description, interested in events, source, real time marketing form. Again, these are all options that you have complete control over. Consent type purpose. And I'm also doing the same thing that I did here to the purpose table I'm doing to the topic table. And that's going to connect that topic to my purpose and create a row for that. So now I've just created a row for purpose and for webinar. Now, if I were going to build this out completely, I would want to add a new row for each one of these. Follow the same pattern that I did, but add one for events and one for newsletters. And that would provide me coverage anytime I wanted to create a commercial type email that was marketed that had content about events or content about, or if it was a newsletter. 
right? So you can see how this is working. You see that the pattern. And that was a quick and dirty demo of how the, how to generate consent center records within Dynamics Marketing and why they're important, what the different types are, what you could possibly do with, with topics and when you and what you need to do with those. So I hope you found this useful and we'll provide more videos in the future about other items in this topic. Thanks very much.